Hi y'all, Carrie D here, host of Coffee with Carrie Homeschool Podcast and the author of Just Breathe and Take a Sip of Coffee. You can't see my face today because I am sharing with you some of my favorite math games that we like to play using either a simple deck of cards or a pair of dice. Now today's game is for your middle schoolers who are having problems understanding fractions or fractions just isn't a whole lot of fun. So this game will make them fun for you. So this is Fraction Battle. First thing you need to do is just get out a simple deck of cards. I like to use my phase 10 and create a game board similar to this where this is a numerator, the line denominator, and then this is your son's numerator and denominator. So we're going to be building fractions and then comparing them and the largest fraction wins. Okay, so I'm going to flip over two cards. I have six and seven. So it looks like my fraction is six sevenths. And then my son flips over two cards. Whoa, we don't want to have a number larger than um, on top. So we're going to put that one on the bottom in our denominator and flip over four. Okay, so my fraction is six sevenths. My son's fraction is four tenths. All right, no need to get out paper and pencil and do a whole bunch of computation. We can actually figure this out mentally, okay? So with my six sevenths, I like to ask my kids, um, what is half of seven? Well, that's gonna be like three and a half, right? Is my denominator bigger than three and a half? Yeah. Um, so this fraction, six sevenths, is actually greater than a half. Or another way to look at it is if I have seven pieces and I have six out of the seven pieces, I almost have a full fraction or a full pizza, right? So this is a pretty big fraction. My son's fraction is four tenths. So again, I asked them, what's half of 10 or the denominator? Well, that would be five and his numerator is four. So he has less than half of a fraction over here. So if my fraction is almost a whole and his fraction is not even a half, then obviously my fraction of six sevenths is bigger, all right? And so therefore you can have them even practice writing their greater than and less than symbols, all right? So you just keep playing um, this game. I make a couple, I actually put these in a sheet protector. So every time I write on them, uh, here, we can just erase it and keep playing. Okay, so again, I'm going to flip over two cards. My fraction is 5 elevenths, and my son's fraction is 6 twelfths. Okay, all right, so the same thing. No computation needed. What is half of 11? Well, it's going to be about five and a half, and I only have five. So this fraction is a little less than a half. And what's half of 12? Six. And he's got six twelve, so he has exactly one half. So this fraction is slightly bigger than this fraction. So in that round, he won those cards. All right, we're gonna do one more just so you can get a feel for how to play the game and how to do the mental math. All right, so I flip over two cards. Again, we don't want the numerator to be larger at this point. So I'm gonna put the nine on the bottom in the denominator. So I have five ninths and my son flips over three sevenths, okay? Ooh, this one's a little tricky, but we've got what is half of nine. Well, it's about four and a half, and I have five. So this one's slightly greater than a half. And what's half of seven? Well, that's gonna be about three and a half. And he has three, so he's a little less than a half. So I barely beat out my son with five ninths. This is really a fun game to play, and it's super, um, it's a super easy way to teach them how to mentally do comparing of fractions without actually doing any kind of least common denominators and creating um, simplifying fractions or creating equal fractions. You can literally do most of your comparing of fractions just by mentally looking at it and figuring out is it close to one whole, close to a half, or close to zero. You guys have fun.